CLV weapons, it seems, have gone from absolute trash to an incredible status. The best turnaround for a single manufacturer I can remember in such a short time, and it's thanks to weapons like this. The new CLV pistol called the Hydra Thrust. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll bring another BL3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out, and subscribe if you do want to see more. So this Hydra Thrust, I will straight up state, is an absolute monster of a weapon. By far, in my opinion, the best CLV weapon in this game, and pistol wise, it's up there people, it really is. The thing about this weapon is the fact though, it acts more like an SMG in the way in which it performs. So if you are an SMG kind of guy and it's all you mainly use, this weapon would be a great addition for you to switch to from your SMG when you run down that ammo and you will indeed feel at home using this thing. So this variant I have is the more Hydra Thrust. And as you can see its damage is utter crazy, 942 times 4 which is 3768 damage people and it doesn't end there, no not at all. What we also see is, after every kill, every second shot deals 200% shock or incendiary damage for 6 seconds. So in reality, if you're firing a clip of 100 shots, after a kill, 50 of those shots deal 200% damage. What isn't really clear though, if it's additional damage to the actual standard 100% damage, which would make it 300% damage over that standard number. This I had to test, and in my testings I found out people that it indeed was not the case. 200% damage is the output over standard, as we see here. All 4 shots hit that target and do roughly 6-7k to 7K damage. When the shot doubles up with that damage coming into play we see 14k, so it isn't 300% but it's still great people. As it really doesn't end there, you also get a chance at tick damage too coming into play from incendiary and shock, and what we see is approximately 10 to 20 ticks of around that 2k mark. Ticks indeed seem to stack as you see here in that slow mo, I shoot this enemy twice with that additional shot, and we get 20 ticks, so either the damage stacks or the tick stacks, I'm pretty sure though it's the damage. So here we have a weapon which deals nasty damage as standard, as it deals it in that cryo form, and then after a kill it adds shark and incendiary into the mix. So a single weapon here which deals 3 elemental types, which is just utter crazy. The only other weapon I can think that's similar to this, which shoots a couple of different elements at the same time, is a new SF Force, which is an SMG I'm yet to cover, and also a old fan favourite SMG called the Tsunami, which I believe shoots Kinetic, which is standard, as well as Corrosive and Shock, which is just an amazing weapon, I do miss it. Now as crazy as this weapon is, and within my testing I truly felt its power, I also wanted to test something else out. When we get a kill with this, and that Shock and Incendiary damage come into play, if you have said anointments on a weapon like the one I have, do those 200% shock and incendiary damage bullets also double up as 100% of 200 is in fact 200 number wise? So that's what I wanted to find out. So for instance, if a standard shot did 100 and then this 200% damage shot did 200, would this cryo anointment double up those 200 damage shots, doubling them up to 400 or giving you an additional 200 on the initial shot? Meaning from base weapon damage wise, we see a 400% damage increase from this anointment alone. And this could be much much higher people as other anointments do offer more damage. So I decided to test this out and why I did indeed find people that this was the case. The 100% Cryo Sentinel anointment doubles upon that damage and the additional damage output from this pistol in Sendry and Shock Wise. Which is just absolutely crazy. And it's actually no doubt when we see in play people this pistol is just capable of crazy things. So what we have here guys is a top tier COV weapon. Didn't think those words would come out of my mouth twice in a week, but they have. But people, and it is a big but, not the big buts you like either. As good as this thing is power output wise and DPS wise, it is seriously let down and I mean seriously let down by how quick it consumes ammo. It is truly appalling. Now if you have any kind of means of countering this, then you have one of the best weapons in the game right here. It truly is that good. But if you don't, like me playing on Zayn, then you are a little let down by the weapon. And because I do like using efficient weapons in my loadout, I mean this is efficient when it's got bullets, but those bullets disappear quickly, making it not efficient in the long run, then I'm not sure if I would use this over, let's say the Maggie, which is another pistol, which is top tier. I just ain't sure about that. But like I said, if you've got a ways of countering the way this consumes its ammo, then this is for you guys 100%. I don't think of another pistol in the game I would pick over this. But that's just me. So yeah guys, the Hydra Thrust is a serious contender, one I think many of you guys will indeed love. 
Now, if you don't know where you obtain this thing, well, it drops from a boss called Chivalrous the Unscathed, who's located within Nigo Neshoi on Xylagos. And the route to this boss's location you can see on screen now. Quite easy to farm, not so much as easy to obtain, drop rates seem for me a little low. But hopefully, guys, your luck changes here. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.